Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, yeah, it's wore out. Time for a new one anyway. Yeah, that's the problem. You close the door and it slams shut like that. So out with the old, in with the new. I just have a El Cheapo replacement for now. But I will order a, a better set in the future. Near future. <clears throat> Friday, by the way. Yeah, I have to use the cutoff wheel. See, there's a bolt that holds the mirror on, and you know the problem is, is that it's froze itself in place, and I'm not going to be able to get it off. So it's just going to have to be cut off. have a cut off disc. Mm. Certain way it's got a shoulder on the grinder. Some, you know, the thickness, uh, if it's a thicker disc, you turn it where the, where the shoulder points in, but if it's a cut off disc where it's thin, you point where the sh shoulder's pointed out. At least the humidity is down oh. today. It's not near as hot either. Oh, this week was a killer. I'll tell you that. All right, now we're ready to do, to do some damage. I always store the tool in the handle. Uh, people just take it out and throw it and then they get lost. So I forgot to push record while I was, while I ground the front half of this off and then the mirror head just unthreaded. Uh, but this is stuck in here so I'm going to try to knock this through. I might have to actually remove this. I think that's what I'm going to have to do is to pull this off. Then I can knock that out. And using a T30, I'm just going to remove these two bolts that holds the mirror bracket. Oh, tough to turn sometimes. The bottom had a rivet that was here, it had long since broke, and I just used a nut and a bolt that goes up and holds it in place. Stainless steel, mind you, so it won't rust and be unsightly like the rest of the rust that's on the truck. Off camera, I went ahead and beat the bolt out of it, and as you can see it was corroded and had made itself at home. and. There wasn't any way of getting it, getting it out other than cutting it out like I did. I'd tried about every way possible. So now the next thing in order, just go ahead and put the mirror arm back on. Oops, that was totally unplanned. The little insulator just does not want to go on. <laughs> I'm gonna make a liar out of it. Okay. 
There we go. Too tight, just good and snug. It'll be all it's needed. And just like before, uh, on the blue truck here a few months, uh, a couple weeks, a few weeks ago, uh, it's getting the addition of some new spot mirrors also. Take these loose. Get that off to the side. There's actually you know the spot mirrors are made by truck light and there's actually a set uh, that truck light makes for the side that I'm actually going to order in the near future you know I think that I am not yeah I am going to go Sands of a lock washer. The reason being, because it just does not give you a whole lot to thread into. Yeah, that's better. Tighten the bracket and make sure it's straight. Alright, so that's good and snug. And I'm going to start this mirror on the second hole, just like I did on the blue truck. Adjust it here in a minute. All right, just the top mirror, about where it needs to be. Okay, that's about right now. Adjust the spot mirror. And that is about right. Okay, so now we hop over and do the passenger side.
Well, off camera, I had to do some reconfiguring because this mirror was not going to be, the way this arm sets, it sets lower than it did on the blue truck, than the one on the blue truck. So I actually had to do some configuring on the bracket. And what I need to do is make a spacer to raise the existing uh, mirror up about a half of an inch so it won't be obstructed. But that works like that. All right, so we're about done for the night anyway. Oh, it's a whole lot nicer tonight. It's probably 75 degrees compared to 95 earlier this week. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, it's been a nice, been enjoying the weather anyway. It looks like rain's going to be moving in, but oh well. Okay, so anyway, it's time to shut down and pick up and call it a night. Well, hope you all have a good weekend. Thanks for watching.